Okay, hello everybody. Um, I'm going to do a little uh, drawing workshop. Um, I'm going to show you uh, how I essentially put together books like Amulet, and I actually use some really simple tools. I don't I don't really use fancy things uh, to make the books. And it usually begins with a with a blue pencil. One of these. Uh, this is this is a color erase Prismacolor blue pencil, um, and here um, I have a Stettler Lumograph um, 2B pencil. So just any r any number two pencil will do. I, I like the I like the Stettlers. I think they they feel pretty good um, and they're relatively inexpensive compared to some really fancy pencils out there. Um, so I get a lot of these pencils <coughs> and um, any eraser uh, like a nice um, uh, like nice soft eraser like this Factus and this will work pretty well. Um, I'm actually going to um, do um, most of the drawing right here with a sharpie though because it's so much clearer to see on camera. Um, it's uh, it's just usually it's 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 faster. It's uh, it's it's um, not typically the way I would draw comics on a page. Um, this isn't how I do my final, but this is what I use for a presentation. So that's what I'm going to do right here. Um, so right now I'm gonna I'm just gonna do a really quick drawing um, that I have practiced many 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 times I've drawn this drawing countless times um, and it is a drawing of my characters from Amulet so let's let's get started and and draw Emily first of course because she's the main character our protagonist hero of the story and I'll typically do these drawings in people's uh, books when I'm when I'm signing in them um, and so you so if you catch me at a signing you'll probably uh, see a sketch like this from me this is just going to be a slightly more developed version of that sketch the sketch that you'll usually get is a picture of of her head and um, uh, not not the rest of her body and and her outfit and everything and that's what I'm going to do right here So when I draw these drawings, um, they're kind of like shooting th free throws for me. It's like practicing, um, practicing my drawing skills, and then practicing um, drawing these characters in particular. Um, so I, um, I, yeah, I equate this to just being in the gym, shooting free throw after free throw uh, to see if I can get better at it and make it easier for myself over time. Um, because even even someone like me who has been drawing for years and years and years, um, I can't really do a very good job on a drawing if I haven't practiced it first. So um, I need to practice um, each one of my characters many times. And um, I've used my time um, signing books and putting sketches into people's um, into people's um, uh, copies of Amulet. I've used that time to to practice getting better at some of my main characters. So that means when I have to put in a new character that I'm going to assign, uh, like usually the uh, first 50 or so look look absolutely terrible. And I'm sorry if you got one of those books. <laughs> um, all right. So we have Leon over here. We'll go over to Miskit over here. So these drawings have basically become stamps for me. I can just kind of do them so comfortably and so often I can just stamp them down wherever I need them. Um, and as a writer of these stories, that allows me to... Um, focus on the writing and the emotion, the emotional content of the story. Um, so I can focus on the way they look and how they act and how, how the story feels, um, as opposed to worrying too much about drawing. It's like if you're a basketball player, you don't want to worry about dribbling. You just got to know how to do it on call. And so you can focus on other parts of the game. You want to be able to shoot the basketball and know it'll go in. And it's the same with drawing ca cartoons. 
So here I'm going to add Naven because this is a family affair. The story is about families working together. All right. So, um, yeah. So you guys may have seen me draw this drawing before. This is this is not. Uh, not a new drawing um, and this is why it, it gets done so quickly and I'll, I'll say that when you're making cartoons or comics um, it's almost more important to be a good designer than an illustrator you know when I was young I I used to draw really detailed drawings I spent a lot of time making things so ornate because I was I wanted to prove to people that I could draw and once I've proven it to myself that I could draw things, um, I, I lost interest in trying to draw uh, very detailed work. I didn't want to impress anybody anymore. I was far more interested in seeing what else I can do with it. And I wanted to tell stories. And that's kind of how I ended up on this path to making graphic novels and comics. Um, okay, so here you go. That's a... This is a drawing uh, that I've drawn many times, um, and and really, it's a uh, um, it's mostly uh, what I've what I've mostly done here is focused on shape language, um, and by that I mean I, I think of, of things like um, the fact that when I when I think of Leon, he's a bunch of triangles. Um, uh, Miskit is a bunch of ovals. Um, and Emily is really a bunch of movement, lots of lots of gestural movement, and so her cape and her hair really, uh, you know, they they really they're they're probably the most um, symbolic um, part of the design um, uh, of her character. And with Naven, Naven just ends up in a lot of vehicles because <laughs> I think he's he's the kind of person to be an engineer or something like that. All right, so here, I'm gonna move on from there. Um, one of the one of the big um, uh, exercises that I, I teach when I'm at schools or I'm at a at like a, um, if I'm at a library or a bookstore and people want to know uh, how do you start how do you start drawing this stuff I, I tell them well you know I, a lot of it starts by knowing how to draw shapes in in three dimensional space. And so people will say, well, hey, did, that means you know how to do perspective drawing. And I say, well, yeah, sort of. Um, I didn't um, spend time um, working on perspective drawing in the traditional sense. I did not map things out. I didn't rule it with a ruler. Um, I just drew shapes as if they looked real to my, to my natural eye. And so I developed a type of drawing that I call natural perspective. And here I'm going to start showing you a exercise that I do to teach myself uh, natural perspective. Um, not only, um, I mean, am I, am I teaching myself how to do this better every time I do it, but it just gets my brain warmed up to be able to draw shapes and um, things with, with volume and um, just this, this feeling of, of realism. Um, at the drop of a hat. I, I can just do it without thinking too much about it. I just put a line down and I say, okay, oh, this is one part of the cube, like that. This is one part of this cube, and I'm going to make this cube look like it's floating around in space. Now, if you did this with a ruler and you try to map everything out, this would take forever. So this is why I don't recommend doing that with this exercise. You don't want to take a ruler and try to map it out. It's all about how does it look to your eye. You want it to look natural. And so I do this for a while, and all of a sudden my brain is pretty warmed up to draw shapes in three-dimensional space. Uh, this is something I call the cube field exercise. Okay, um, And so I, I used to draw um, tons of vehicles and characters and things like that as a kid, and I, I began with uh, things like this. And so, um, so these are like the Lego pieces that you would use to build, um, to build uh, your drawings with, okay, you know, so you'll you'll want to take things like this, which is 
more of a uh, shape design design language um, and uh, you're gonna you know imbue it with uh, three dimensions um, with the three dimensional quality of drawing stuff like this okay so here I'll I'll start um, bringing those two things together so let's take a look um, Okay, so um, what I'll do here is start with a box, like one of those boxes I just drew, and we're going to turn this box into stuff. So let's uh, turn it into uh, a vehicle. So we can just go from being a traditional car, maybe. It's kind of an old looking car here. Um, but what I'm doing is I'm taking all those boxy shapes that I, I warmed up with, and I am modifying them and building with them to create the car. So like I said, it's like Legos or playing Minecraft or something like that. Okay. And then you know you can you can take that and run with it and and get um, you know uh, a little bit more fantastic with some of these ideas you know maybe add uh, rocket boosts to the car you know maybe add a wing a couple of wings here you know so that we can start showing it flying we'll just put a shadow underneath it but we'll sh we'll have it kind of high up so it. It's actually above the ground here. Okay, and so we have, so here we have a vehicle, um, and um, uh, let me see, because it's hard to put a character in there now. Um, but um, here, you know what? Well, what we'll do is, well, here, I'll I'll put a character with a helmet. Okay look like somebody's in there all right and then um uh, why don't we do another um some some other vehicle uh oh how about we we'll, we'll, we'll make it like okay so what i'll make it like something that, like that looks like a loaf of bread okay behind it um we'll make it we'll make like a a van like a VW bus or something, an old. Okay, and we'll have it flying as well. We'll we'll, we'll make it a flying vehicle. Okay, rockets boosting. There you go. And have that one just a little off the ground as well. So we have these racing, like kind of semi flying cars here. Um, and that could be the setting. And then um, I guess what we can do now is uh, we can take this and turn it into a story. We can we can put a character in there. Why don't we why don't we go to making a character next? Okay, so I'm gonna make a character. Um, let's see. make this racer character. Yeah, it's just I I'm inventing a character right now. Okay. And so she's gonna have um so this is this is how I design characters. I'll just start 
adding costumes to them and things like that. You know, maybe she's wearing gloves or gauntlets. I don't know. For some reason, all my characters wear gauntlets. I think it's just because it looks cool. Um, but here we go. We're going to. Boots, maybe something like a backpack of a kind or something. Maybe it's full of full of tools or something. She, maybe she's a mechanic. And let's say say she's somebody who drives uh, drives this car. Okay. Um, and so when I'm actually doing a story, uh, what I'll do is you know I'll, I'll design the vehicles and the characters and things like that and then I'll um, uh, I'll start writing bits of story content I'll like write it down like this and often I'll, I'll like have the character uh, right next to it let's, let's have this new character speaking And she says this stuff, says this, this, and this, and that. And then, um, you know, maybe there's um, somebody else that's uh, um, talking with her. Maybe it's like a character who's like a, a light bulb. Let's do that. This is a new one here. Um, and he's saying something. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. All right. So we have dialogue. We have the design of everything. And then we can draw the comic. Okay. And so when I'm doing doing the comic, I'll lay out the pages like this on these sheets of paper. Pretty simple. And when I go to doing do the the comic, I try to think about it like I'm 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 doing something very very simple because the process of making a comic is really complex so it's really a good idea to think about all of the stuff that I'm showing you simply instead of thinking about it in these complicated things where, where complicated ways where you're thinking about the math of it all and all of the technical things that are actually occurring you don't want to think about it too much because you want to think about the story and so I'm going to from there um, make uh, panels on this on these pages uh, what I try not to do is have gutters go into other gutters onto the other side of the page, um, and so here we're gonna we're gonna do we're gonna do these panels, and these are the panels that we're gonna work with. And from here, you want to fill the boxes. So the process, well, the thing that I think about when I'm drawing my comics most of the time, I think about this. Say I have a saying to myself where I say, "Hey, um, just fill boxes. Uh, just just draw boxes, fill the boxes." Draw the boxes, fill the boxes, okay? And so here I've drawn the boxes. Now it's time to fill the boxes. And we're going to take these as references for what we're going to do. Um, and so let's say um, we're going to do this, this car again. So here I'm going to use that as a reference. And I am just going to put the car into this low-flying car into this comic when I'm doing my thumbnails these are what these are what we call thumbnails when I do thumbnail pages I try not to do too much detail I don't want to spend too much time on that uh, my focus here is writing the story of which I don't have the time here to do but I'm gonna I'm gonna create like a sense of a story okay so these lines represent dialogue and let's say they're saying something here saying something here um, and you know, let's say maybe we want a good uh, hero shot of our our heroine. And she's okay, so she's in her vehicle, and she is driving and talking 
and maybe she sees this other character maybe there's another character over there the the light bulb guy okay so go back to the light bulb guy that we have here right this this guy um, you know he's gonna be racing in the other car Maybe a close up. Oh, light bulb guy. Okay. Okay. And so then in the next next panel, I'll have I'll have them racing the opposite direction here and go. This is, oh, so in when you're making films, you know they 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 talk about a thing where you don't reverse your shots. You want to flip them and go in different directions. So if you're making an animated film, you want to keep everything consistently going the same direction, whether it's this way or that way. In a comic, I feel that it doesn't really it, that that doesn't really play uh, it, as being so, something super important. I I I actually think that you should do it to the flow of the page. So it, you want to move this way. You want to move. You want to go down like this, and so I I typically move my compositions to flow down the page as opposed to worry about it like a film because it's not a film, it's a comic, um, and so I um I try to make sure that I'm making the best comic I can, not my not the best movie on paper necessarily. I think if if you do the job well enough, people will just assume that it's basically like watching a movie. Okay, so here they are coming down the stretch. They're racing. Um, and uh, we'll just end it end it early. They'll go they'll go off into the sunset. So let's have the sun here. And then uh, the two vehicles. kind of silhouetted here racing off into the sunset maybe we'll put some clouds in or something and they'll probably say something something witty okay so there you got there you got a story going it's um you know it's now it's a uh, pretty clear pretty clear like what what occurred so let's to to recap um we went from doing this this cube field exercise, you know, you can do this and you, you, you could take it, you could do cubes, you can also do cylinders, uh, spheres, um, uh, anything pr pretty much, you know, like trapezoidal shapes, you know, uh, just different, different, different types of shapes and you want to draw them in three dimensions. Um, and then you take that kind of, uh, that ability, you combine it with your ability to design things, design characters, and create the characters, have them talk with each other, and then you create the scenes that they'll probably be in. Or in the case that w w where we were working here, we went from this this concept here. We went from this concept to this concept using this technique, and now we can combine it into a story. All right, and then from here you want to elevate the detail and the clarity of the drawings and um, then you have a comic and then you're gonna color it and uh, and then you have uh, readers and fans and uh, and then uh, all sorts of good stuff happens so thanks for joining me on uh, this uh, this little this little video tutorial um, hope you guys are having a safe time at home and uh, this is a perfect time to go ahead and learn to draw better and write your stories. So good luck with that. All right. Thanks, everybody.